Call 911. Look at this crooked caddy wampus. There's not enough roof in this shot. There's not too much roof. We doing your thumbnail? Yes. You want to do your thumbnail? All right. I think this is the highlight of your meal other than the meal itself. So. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth and Janae from Project Ellsworth and occasionally Janae Plans. Not too occasionally. It's got it's a special occasionally Janae, Janae Plans. We are in where are we at? Egg Harbor Township in Maysland. Egg Harbor Township. We're in Egg Harbor Township at Burger King. I want to try this new royal chicken sandwich that may or may not be new anymore. I have no idea, but I've never heard of it. This is this week's mukbang for my Mustang. I wonder how long this thing's actually been around. I just haven't eaten it. No idea. Hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe. As usual. Mouthy. You, you got a little something on you. So how's everybody doing? Hopefully it's going to be an uneventful day. Plan on doing some grocery shopping and some YouTube recording when I get home. And not a whole hell of a lot of anything else. I don't think. I'm going to work. Today's going to... That's the smoothest bun I've ever... had. some smooth buns. How was your bun? He ain't even looked yet. That is smooth. So I got this spicy chicken sandwich. Hopefully it's good. I don't have tons of faith in Burger King anymore. And am I being really loud? Yes. Okay. I do not have the most faith in Burger King anymore. These people could fuck up a spelling bee. That doesn't even make any sense. No. No context whatsoever and has nothing to do with the sandwich. Here goes some lettuce. So we got some lettuce, some tomatoes, some kind of sauce. And I have lettuce on my shifter. That's awesome. Whopper Jr. And I've got this and I got a large fry. And the lady said, we don't have any pickles today. And I said, pencils. I thought she said that she didn't have any pencils, which didn't make any sense to me at all. Pickles makes more sense. But I saw Dame Drops eat this thing on his channel and said, hey, I've never had that. The hot sauce is very runny. Let's see. Waiting for your response. It's all right. I personally am a fan of lettuce. I think this should have more fresh crispy lettuce on it and as just about every spicy sandwich that you get everywhere on earth it should be more spicy i don't think i've ever seen one with tomato on it i don't even know what the sauce is in this sandwich spicy but i think this would be good with more size more size more spice Definitely more lettuce. Get that tomato out of there. You don't need that damn tomato, especially if you put more lettuce on it. And I like tomatoes, but there's no reason for that to be here. It would be good with that, that pencil that they didn't have today. And it should be like a blue cheese sauce in here. That would make this better. Surprisingly, my tomato is actually good. It's okay. Are the fries good today? Because mm -hmm. sometimes Burger King's hit or miss with their fries. Sometimes they're like the best fries you ever had in your life, and other times you wish you got the onion ring. Not bad. You know what I'm falling in love with? I gotta start buying for the houses. Texas Pete hot sauce. That's what you get when you get the packets of hot, hot sauce from Chick fil A. I tapped on my window, which you can't even see on here. But the tapping sound I was pointing because Chick-fil-A is right across the street. But when you get the Chick-fil-A package of hot sauce, it's Texas Pete hot sauce, and it's very, very good. I don't think I've ever bought that. Like, retail went to the grocery store and bought Texas Pete. I always get Tabasco sauce, and I get Crystal Hot sauce, because I like that on hot dogs. 
and I like Tabasco sauce on my eggs. And the other hot sauce I get is El Yucateca, which I will eat on everything else. But this isn't bad. Nothing spectacular, but not bad. We're gonna go to a health food store when we leave here, after we get done eating our fast food. I'm trying to get away from drinking the minimum of a pot of coffee a day. I'm getting older, I have acid reflux. Something tells me that pouring a pot of coffee into my gut every day is probably not the brightest idea in the world. So, I came across something on TikTok called Mud Water that's supposed to have a lot of health benefits to it in addition to replacing your daily coffee. So I'm gonna give that a shot. It's kind of expensive, so I, I'm, I wanted to actually physically go there and look at it rather than just throw caution to the wind and order it online. I know that I'm gonna buy it today regardless of what the hell it says, but I was curious. consumption down to 12 ounces. What were you doing before? Was it 12 20. 24? 20? 20. Every once in a while I get the 24. I like when I had the free coffee and the Wawa rewards. But we're both getting a little bit up there in age and I think it's just better for us to... You're going to be 50 soon. We're officially at... At very, look at that, I got hot sauce on the back of my hand. Look at that, it looked like I slapped the shit out of somebody. I, uh, we've officially, best case scenario, hit the halfway point of our life. And that's like the best case scenario. And you know one of us ain't gonna make it to 100. At least one of us, I'm pretty sure it's just one of us. I don't think either one of us is gonna make it to 100. And I think I'm gonna make it to 100, that's my goal. I wanna see 100, and the day after I turn, turn 100 down, I kick the bucket, I don't care. You're not gonna make it. Strange. You drink too much Snapple. No, I don't. What was that? You get high on sugar. Too much Snapple. But I definitely just don't think that, that drinking so much coffee is a good thing. Too much of anything is not a good thing. Well, that's not. It depends on what that thing is. There's no such thing as too much in some cases. A rated PG show. <clears throat> so I've been working out, but now I've managed to hurt my back again. Here's a surefire sign that I'm getting older. I hurt my back standing up. So now I've been walking around with my right sciatic nerve shooting bolts of pain through my body, and bending is the devil. So I got to get myself in better shape, and that's all there is to it. I definitely don't feel like walking around with this crap all the time. And when I hurt my back the first time, the doctor that I spoke to, I said, what can I do to make sure that this does not keep happening? He said, the only thing you can do that's foolproof that this won't keep happening is fusing your discs and getting surgery. And I said, well, that is not going to happen. So I just gotta take better care of myself. Less inflammation, working out more, better diet, anything and everything that I can do to not keep going through this shit is what I want to do. So what are you planning for my birthday? I'm not doing anything for your birthday. I'm going to buy, buy an ice cream cake. No, I, the cake is the one thing you don't need to worry about. We didn't do nothing for my 50th birthday. But decorated the house? Well then I'll, put, I'll decorate the house. You really expect me to like decorate the house? We don't, neither one of us have friends. Our friends live with us. So we ain't gotta invite nobody over. You want me to ask Wendy to come over? We'll have Wendy over? That's the closest thing to anything that we got as friends. We'll get Wendy and Kathy, we'll have them come over. <laughs> I got no friends. Diana's my friend. You're my friend. Well, Diana's all right. She's more family than friend, to me. Don't you think? 
When I look at Diane, I don't think friend. When I look at Mike, I don't think friend. They're, that's our family. You want me to invite them over? You want me to get Mike here from North Carolina? Say, hey, Janae's turning 50 in December. By January, she's gonna fall over and lay on the floor. What do you want me to do? It's rough being with you. It is not rough being with you. Mm -hmm. I literally didn't expect anything when I turned 50. I came home and this shit was hanging up and I was like, oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, that's all. Awesome. It was very nice. Birthdays just don't, it's not my thing. It's one day closer to the grave. That's the way I look at birthdays. Look at you, you look at how miserable you are. You don't want to be 50 and you want to celebrate that day? We can do whatever you want to, Janae. I'm just busting your balls. What do you want to do? It would be nice if you planned something. You want us all to sit around and play with jewelry? That's what you like to do. You want to do that? You want to have a jewelry party at today's house? What do you, you want to do what you like to do. We'll all sit around and we'll put jewelry in bags and we'll play on TikTok. That'll be your 50th birthday. We'll all do that together. Don't you get the, don't you look that snarly look on your face either. Trade you in. I don't give a shit. What do you want to do? We can do whatever you want to do. You want to go see a horror movie? Of course not. Then you need to tell me what you want to do. Because if you if you leave it up to what I want to do, we're going to go see like Get Out 2 or something. That's what we're doing. There's got to be some new Christmas horror movie coming out. There's got to be. Krampus 8. Did you like Krampus? Not really. Did you watch Krampus? Yes. I, I don't... Christmas is my favorite time of the year. I don't want to infuse Halloween into it. What about Nightmare Before Christmas? I've never seen it. You don't want to watch that. You like musicals about as much as I do. I don't know, though. You like that Miracle on 54th Street and all that kind of sound of music and all that shit. Miracle on 34th Street. 54th, 34th, 44th, whatever. I was taking a shortcut. I went to 34th Street. Got the same thing. Annoyed. But you like that stuff, so you might like A Nightmare Before Christmas. Kind of girly. A lot of singing. You might like that. Well, they're singing in the year without a, year without a Santa. I don't know what that is either. I've never watched it. The Heat Miser and the Snow Miser. That's what that is? Yes. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. I don't remember it at all. Mm. I like that stop animation thing with Rudolph. That's what I like. I like that. I Wouldn't like it be it. the same thing for you without a Sam? I like anything and everything that involves Snoopy and Pigpen. What other Christmas specials do we like? We don't watch them. We talk about them, we don't watch them. Santa Claus is coming to town. Do I know that one? Yes, that's when Santa and... Gets mad at Frosty and hits him with a heat gun? No. <laughs> I think that's the one where I get him confused. That's a year without a Santa. Um, oh gosh. I remember Santa goes and meets a kid who doesn't believe in Santa. That doesn't even sound slightly familiar to me. I can see it in my head. But again, I'm getting it confused with the year without a Santa. So, uh, I'm out of... I'm out of... It has a young Santa in it, and it has a young Mrs. Claus in it. Like the Brad Pitt? that same animation, John. Stop animation? Brad Pitt was in that? Stop animation? He's not that young anymore anyway. I saw something that said his health isn't good either. But I don't remember what about. And I don't know. For all I know, I've been He probably caught through. that itis from spending all that quality time with a bunch of hot chicks. Gotta give you that itis. You that. You that. Dude, that itch, dude. 
It's right by right back here. You get that itch and you start to get a rash. Get that chick out of Spending too much time looking at it. It's just making your make skin itch. <laughs> Alrighty then. See, I'm a bunch of <laughs> buy some mud water. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. Leave me alone. Stop messing with me. My back hurts. I feel like I should be in traction. You mess with me. Anybody out there have mud water? Leave me some comments. Let me know. I'm curious. You'll have had it by the time you post this video. Well, I'm curious. Well, I will have bought it by the time I post this video. So you're going to try it tomorrow? I'm gonna post this video today. Excuse me. Today's Sunday. Sunday is our mukbang video day. Excuse me. No excuse for you. I don't follow your schedules. I know. Too many of them. Well, I don't follow them either. I was just telling her earlier that I feel like I just took the whole week off from YouTube. I'm too damn busy. I it, it's, it drives me crazy. I get myself so fixated on, I gotta do a reaction video, I gotta do an unboxing video, I gotta, da, da. and it's just, it's so silly. I have a video coming out this week. Where? Who should I have plans? Bestow my heart, when? As soon as I put the beginning and the end in on it. I did the, the, the middle section is all done and edited. I just needed the intro and the outro. What and I did those yesterday. What are you going to do? It's a FabFitFun unboxing. Was it fun? Sure. Why is it called Fit? Because they have fitness stuff in there too. Isn't it day planner stuff? No. It's not planner stuff at all. It's FabFitFun subscription box. It's not day planner stuff? Your, ch your channel is Janae Plans. Right, but I do the FabFitFun unboxing on there too. And what exactly is FabFitFun? It's a subscription box that comes out four times a year. For what? Is it for? It for? has fitness stuff. It has beauty and jewelry and all different kinds of stuff in there. I guess I never thought about what this thing was actually called. FabFitFun. Fat Freddy. Fat Nancy Freddy. Right? Right? Is this the, is this the situation we're in? <clears throat> I never watched any of that Fat Five Nights with Freddy stuff. Was there a movie? Did they ever make a movie? I know that they made a Banana Splits horror movie a couple years ago, and I bought it. And surprise, surprise, I have not watched it. And that always reminded me Five of like Freddy. Five Nights at Freddy and like the, the animatronic Chuck E. Cheese thing. That's always what that reminded me of. But I also Chuck think, Cheese. yeah, the animatronic band up there singing up in that son um. of a bitch. But I think Nicolas Cage, I'm, well, I don't think, I know Nicolas Cage put out a movie within the last couple of years called Willy's Wonderland, where he actually works in one of those places, I believe. And at night, the animatronics come to life. Just like Chuck E. Cheese. Or Toy Story. Toy Story, they're not animatronics. Pixar. Pixar. Should have bought some stock in him, huh? Pixar. They can make anything that would be a smash hit just because it's Pixar. I can't believe I haven't seen the new toys. The newest Toy Story. Have I seen the newest Toy Story? No. I don't even know what you're talking about. One came out after Toy Story 4. So that would be 5. Yes. I think that's right. So Toy Story 3 or 4? Whichever one, they kind of said goodbye to the Andy character. That was the last one we saw. I don't, maybe that was 3. So I haven't seen, we haven't seen Toy Story 4. I'll watch it with Ben. 
the last one I watched. The last one that I know that I watched. <clears throat> they had that like that mean bear in it. Yeah. That wound up getting killed in like the furnace at the end of the movie or something like that, which was like all had hardcore for Toy Story. You, what are you doing to children? That's the last thing I remember for sure. Moxie. Him and the L. Whatever that bear's name was. Yeah, and at the end, it kind of... She went with that little girl. Uh, she who went with what little girl? A Buzz and Woody. That's not a she. I, I made a mistake. Excuse me. Right. Well, well, don't do that here. You got people watching. Yeah, you. Here's another one that criticizes everything. Um, I can't help my what's in my DNA. His name Bonnie. I think the little girl's name is Bonnie. Hell if I know. All I know is Andy. We saw. We took Michael to the movie theater and saw. Yeah, I've gone to see a lot of stuff in my life that I don't remember. <sighs> I remember that Woody's boy was Andy. I don't remember Bonnie. Well, Andy grows up. He's all grows up. Andy's a big oh, Andy's a big boy. He's all grows up He's now. He's all grows up. He's all grows up. Big Andy. Andy's on the scene. So then all we right. went to um, Bonnie, I think her name was. Who did? Buzz and Woody. And the rest of them. Buzz and Woody went to Bonnie? Yes. Clearly, I remember none of this. Clearly. You just fixated on the <clears throat> pink bear. That pink bear was messing with me, man. How are you going to do that and incinerate a toy on TV and kill a bear? It's, it's hard. I really remember that. All right. go. So the chicken sandwich was good. The French fries were good. The chicken sandwich wasn't great. It could definitely be better, but it could absolutely be worse. It would have been both worse if we went to the one in Marmora for sure. All right, you ready to go? We're going. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. <coughs> Clear my throat. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying our content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor and click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other kick-ass day. Thank you for watching. Bye. Later. We out.